We're now going to look at creating the subgrade surfaces using the boxing many function. To do this, we'll just have a look at the definitions first. So go into your cross section view and profile using the model strings chainage number 137380. We're now going to have a look at the actual boxing file definitions. So go to design, boxing, edit definitions, edit definitions. Under the boxing file, click on the browse option, go up one level to road one boxing file and click on edit. To have a look at our boxing definitions, if we click on the arrow down button here, and we'll start off by having a look at the 150 base course full left start to intersection. And then we can click on edit. Just to give you a brief explanation of this, this is saying we're going to copy point CE001. So if I turn on my design one strings here, you can see CE001 is this point here and it's going to copy it 150 mils below it, so it'll come down 150 mils and then it will copy the design surface until it gets to the next command which is also from MC001 down 150 mil. So basically all it's going to do is draw a line 150 mil below the design surface across here like that. Down the bottom here we have this left side interface so what's going to happen out here and it's saying cross fall from point. So if I click on set point it's saying from the design layer CE001 which is this point here we're going to get the cross fall one millimeter further on. So it's going to measure what the cross fall is a millimeter in this direction which in this case would be 3% minus 3%. So from our point here, which is 150 mils below the surface, it's going to get the cross fall and continue it out until it hits the batter out here. And that's what this left side interface does. By ticking on this copy from start of section, it will then trace the interface from the point where it intersects all the way down until it interfaces with the ground surface. And it's always a good idea to do that, particularly when calculating volumes, because it gives you a far more accurate measurement. So ultimately, this left side boxing here should start here, come up till it hits this point here, and then at 150 mils below the design, continue until it gets to the centre of the road. If we have a look at the other definitions, they're all basically exactly the same, except that they're different depths. So for example, despite the fact this one's 150 sub-base, if I edit it, you'll notice that the 150 is added on to the 150 already for the subgrade, so that we have a full 300. So the depth is always measured from the design surface. You can finish on that, finish on this and just save it. Just before we run our boxing menu file, we're going to change the name of our alignment string for road number one. And the reason that we do that is simply because it will use the name of the alignment string to create the sections and strings for the boxing. So if we can call it road 1, then all our road 1 will be the same. So to change it, we just go to change string. We'll type in our new name, which will be road 1. And then just turn on the alignment string, road 1 alignment string, and click on start and pick and accept the string. Always check that it worked by clicking F2 and checking that the new name is Road 1. You can finish on that and finish on that. We can now open up our boxing menu function by going to Design, Boxing, Boxing menu function. We always start off by giving our boxing menu a function name and in this case we'll call it Road 1 Box Menu. Select our boxing file, which we'll have to browse, go up one level, and select Road 1 BF, and pick our centerline. 
we'll just change our section mode from cut sections which would create the sections on the fly because we've already created them we'll use existing sections and the model of sections is road one design sections if you now click in the layers tab this is where we set up the name of the sections and strings that will be created so I'll just widen this out a little bit so we can actually type something in here and our strings we're going to call star which will be the name of the alignment string so it'll change that to road 1 as they're created then we'll call it 150 which is the height and this is our base course strings we can copy this across into our section naming and we can also copy it down to the next layer and then just edit them so this one will become sections and this one will become subbase we can then copy that across to here and change it to sections the color for our base course will be cyan and for our subbase we'll make that orange if we now click on the left boxing tab this is where we're going to type in the definitions of our boxing so we start off from our chainage and I'll just zoom in at the start of our road here and our chainage is 137140 and our boxing definition will be 150 base course full left start to the intersection so that'll take us all the way up to the intersection when we get to the intersection which is at chainage 138110 138110 we're then going to go for base course left intersection so it's the left side of the road and it's through the intersection and we just need to now insert two lines below this so we just go insert below right click again insert below and the next change is going to be the other end of the intersection which is 138180 138180 and it will be 150 base course full left from the intersection to the end and we're going to finish our changes off at 138660 now for each layer we only have two but our change range is going to be the same so we can just highlight all of that and hit Control c or right click and copy we can then go to layer 2 insert two new lines click in the first cell and hit Control v or paste so that'll copy over our change range it'll also copy over our boxing definitions and all we have to do is change them so the first one's going to be 150 sub base full left start to intersection the second one will be 150 sub base through the intersection and the last one will be 150 sub base intersection to the end we can now click on the right boxing tab and once again we can add in two new lines and then paste in the boxing definitions however on this occasion because there's no intersection on the right hand side we just want to delete those two middle lines so we just want to go from the start to the end and we want it to be base course 150 full right and we can copy that to layer 2 and change this to sub base full right on the volume tab now just click on the calculate volumes we select the tin which is tin ground and we want to give it a report name which we will call road 1 vols and we just need it to be summary make sure all of these are ticked on so it calculates all the different volume levels and then we can just click on run to create the boxing back inside our cross section view now we can turn on road 1 150 base course sections and road 1 150 sub base sections and you can see there's our boxing sections there showing 
Good finish on that.